put one million monkeys with typewriters inside a spaceship that travels 10 billion years. By the end of the trip, the monkeys will have typed a Shakespearean sonnet. This monkey theorem defends the possibility of life arising by chance. Professor Gerald Schroeder did statistical analysis of the plausibility of the monkey theorem. Here are the results. Schroeder first referred to an experiment conducted by the British National Council of Arts. A computer was placed in a cage with six monkeys. After one month of hammering away at it, the monkeys produced 50 typed pages, but not a single word. Schroeder noted that this was the case even though the shortest word in the English language is one letter, an A or an I. A is a word only if there is a space on either side of it. If we take it that the keyboard has 30 characters, then the likelihood of getting a one letter word is 30 times 30 times 30, which is 27,000. The likelihood of getting a one-letter word is one chance out of 27,000. Schroeder then applied the probabilities to the sonnet analogy. He asked, what's the chance of getting a Shakespearean sonnet? He reasoned that all the sonnets are the same length. They are, by definition, 14 lines long. He picked the one he knew the opening for, which goes, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? He counted the number of characters. There are 488 letters in that sonnet. He asked, What's the likelihood of hammering away and getting 488 letters in the exact sequence as in the sonnet, Shall I Compare Thee to a Summer's Day? What you end up with is 26 multiplied by itself 488 times, or 26 to the 488th power, or, in other words, in base 10, 10 to the 690th. This is where it's really interesting. The number of particles in the universe, not grains of sand, we're talking about protons, electrons, and neutrons, is 10 to the 80th. 10 to the 80th is one with 80 zeros after it. 10 to the 690th is one with 690 zeros after it. There are not enough particles in the universe to write down the trials. You'd be off by a factor of 10 to the 600th. If you took the entire universe and converted it to computer chips, forget the monkeys, each weighing a millionth of a gram and had each computer chip able to spin out 488 trials at, say, a million times a second. If you turn the entire universe into these microcomputer chips, and these chips were spinning out a million times a second, producing random letters, the number of trials you would get since the beginning of time would be 10 to the 90th trials. It would be off again by a factor of 10 to the 600th. You will never get a sonnet by chance the universe would have to be 10 to the 600th time larger.